but the, the Germans as well. They had a cinema where they showed French films subtitled into uh, German, which was pretty revolutionary in the 60s already. And they created um, a public uh, fair, um, uh, Deutsch Französisches Volksfest, where we say. Uh, so the people from Berlin can meet the soldiers uh, from France. It was a very revolutionary thing and even uh, the Americans and the English copied it as well. Another example of uh, French uh, um, cultural diplomacy was that they had four cultural centers only in Berlin. They even had one in the east of Berlin, in the, the ex-DDR. Uh, which was the only allied force they had um, that had a, a eastern uh, a cultural institute in the eastern former eastern side of Berlin. So um, today uh, we have quite a different approach um, as well uh, to to culture. We need um, culture to bring together the young people. For instance, um, the Centre Français de Berlin, uh, we organize all the youth exchanges for Berlin and Paris. They have a partnership, they're both capitals. Next year is the 25th uh, anniversary. And for instance, we organize a breakdance hip hop festival between both cities where we had this year more than 2,000 uh, visitors. And um, we use subculture or young culture to bring both youth uh, from Paris and Berlin, but from France and Germany in general, together. And I think this is one uh, of the great successes as well. Uh, 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 talking about Germany and France, we have politics, we have economics, but we have a lot of cultural and youth exchanges, which is, which is I think, uh, unique in the world. Uh, thank you very much for your interventions. These were really Fascinating. So now it's time for the audience. Uh, if you have any question, please, it's time to enter the dialogue. Yes, I'm Erna Henniko from Luxembourg. And I want to present to the gentleman the three national cultural institute, France and Luxembourg and, Luxembourg and Germany in Luxembourg, Centre Pierre Werner. It was created in 2003 when there were talks that the Goethe Institute would move away from Luxembourg and the Centre Culturel had problems with its locations. And so we created a new form of cooperation on the cultural field. As uh, you noticed, the message did not come, neither to Berlin nor to French diplomacy. And I dare say that is one of the problems of uh, international cooperation between member states. The cultural ministers are taking initiatives, the ministers of foreign affairs are taking initiatives, but sometimes the ministers of foreign affairs and the ministries are not aware what is going on in the ministries for culture. Mm -hmm. And that creates a lot of technical problems in Europe. But I just want to mention and to invite you to come to Luxembourg and to see what is like the Centre Pierre Werner named uh, after our uh, former mm -hmm. Prime Minister and uh, uh, very uh, important European. Does anyone else have an intervention? Hello, I'm Tatiana from Vienna. I have an initiative with diverse communities to initiate also networking uh, between cultures and diverse groups. So my question is to what topics uh, um, are you meeting? What, uh, is, uh, what is exchanged? Or did you analyze the text, uh, texts of hip hop songs? What are the actual questions of the young people by exchanging of the dance uh, events? Um, well, topics of exchanges is very large. Exchange can be music, theater, circus, uh, apprenticeship. Uh, it can be, um, for instance, talking about the hip-hop culture, of course, the texts, because a lot of young people in school, they're not very interested by, by the French language, but when they listen to hip-hop, they think it's very cool, and then they learn French. We have 
uh, often we have the cases right. with the, we, the French yeah, hip-hop culture yeah, is very big. Yeah. Last year, we had a hip-hop, um, uh, very, very well-known man in, in Berlin, um, Grand Corps Malade, and we organized uh, in, in German schools in Neukölln uh, with classes and with the German hip-hop, uh, so slammer, uh, we organized, we organized uh, uh, um, slam classes and uh, uh, in French and in German, and after all the all the the the, um, um, the scholars has been invited to the concert, seven hundred uh, people have been invited to the concert, and it was a huge success. Yeah, yeah. and it's Excuse the same. Me, but it no, was no, a good exactly. We <laughs> supported the project as well, and so it's. What is the actual topic uh, behind? I mean, dance, but what focus? Yeah. Well, what, what a lot of, uh, especially in Germany, but in France as well, a lot of, uh, for the young people, uh, especially coming with uh, migrant history, they talk about the identity, about um, where, where do I come from, really? Because here I, I consider myself as a Turkish person, and in France they consider me as a German one. So there's a lot of confusion and the same for the French coming over to, to Germany. Uh, and uh, identity is a big subject, immigration, um, but it can be as well everything that, uh, that the, the young person really uh, is concerned about. I mean, uh, pleasure, whatever. We are beginning a series of debates uh, with the Bertelsmann Stiftung, the Foundation Bertelsmann, is a very important foundation in Germany. We are beginning, uh, we began last week in, in München, a series of 20 debates on federal level in 20 towns on one and a half year about the topic uh, growth and welfare. Um, and I can't say it's specific for youth, but uh, <coughs> we, we, uh, we, are make, we are organizing that debate with the universities so uh, the most of the people who will be there uh, are young people, I would say students. And we, this debate be, um, uh, between two debates, the, the conversation, the discussion will continue on the internet um, through a forum on a special website. You can find all that on institutfrancais.de. <laughs> I make some advertising. No, but it's, uh, you, ha you have a good question because um, it's not only the point to say we want to... to um, last year, we, we had contact with one million Germans we, in all the fields, arts, um, school, uh, linguistic field, university. It was... Um, and not through the internet. In the, through the internet, we had one million visits on our website in one year. Well, it's increasing, and uh, but we, we had co contact with one million people, and from these one million people, we can say that were more or less um, two thirds young people. But you're right; um, you you don't. Um, it depends on on the on the um, how can you say can I say that uh, the the topics we 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 uh, discuss uh, depends on. The target, um, um, for example, when we make exchanges of uh, um, uh, in in the music, we can use hip hop, for example. But we make uh, exchanges in the th in the theater too, or we we have um, uh, an action in the in the cinema too, in the movies, uh, and so on. So it's very um, uh, there is not one field, one topic field, if I can say, where we, where we act, but a lot. You, you need a microphone. <laughs> it is a very good exam example and very important to mention that exchanging uh, by hip hop dance yes. to learn language, yes. which is very important and yes. very problematic in the United Europe. Yes. So I think it's a good model to present yes. and also to focus and to mention. Yes. So thank you. You're absolutely <laughs> right. But we used to something that doesn't exist in Germany and that exists very much in France it's comics. 
the Germans don't have very much comics, and especially not for children. And in France, we have a lot of comics. Uh, it's an old Belgian tradition. It's a big comic uh, culture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, but Belgian is our. <laughs> Uh, 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 it's an American tradition too, um, and for the language, it's very, it's a very good mm -hmm. vector too. It's very, very interesting too. But you're right, hip hop is very interesting for the language. We have an outside of Paris. Yes, for Marjan Satrapi. Yes. I just have to dive in. Yeah. I just have to dive in. That's part of the conversation. I don't want to cut you or anything. Just if anyone else in the audience. Want to intervene? For, Please um, raise your hand. I would like to, 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 to answer the question or the comment of the, the, uh, the lady of, of Luxembourg, oh because um, very quickly, because I, I knew the existence of this uh, of that uh, centre culturel. But um, uh, we have a special uh, France and Germany has a special fund to for interventions for cultural intervention in third countries. Uh, it's not the case of Luxembourg. Luxembourg is not a third country in, the, in, this, in that way. Um, but um, um, we, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's interesting to, to see that in, uh, in, in a lot of countries, it, in, in, I have examples in Croatia, for example, but there are a lot of others, uh, we, France and Germany, uh, come together and try to develop some cultural actions. <coughs> My name is Elvira, I'm from Kazakhstan, and uh, thank you very much for the discussion. And I have a question. How I understood, uh, I hope I'm cor co I correct understood, if not, please correct me. Uh, you mentioned that uh, in France, the um, power in cultural sphere is not so centralized. Uh, but there is a ministry of, of culture, and the power, in my point of view, of view it's... Um, very much centralized. There is no uh, mechanism of arm lengths uh, like in UK, let's say, and uh, uh, the system is well not like in USA. And what can you can you precise and tell more about uh, what do you mean by not centralized power? I don't, I, I don't say it's not centralized. I said it's less centralized than before. Um, the, the Ministry of Culture in France has a budget by about four, four billion uh, euros. Um, four billion euros are in other ministries, uh, especially um, uh, Ministry for Education. Um, but decentralized communities, uh, authorities, have eight billion euros budget too. So you see, the, 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 the centralized action of the Ministry for Culture um, is not so heavy than before because uh, the part four billions in comparison to 16 billions, it's a quarter. Uh, it's not, f it's, it's important, but it's not so important than uh, in former times. It's the reason I say it's less centralized. I don't say that it is not centralized, which would be a lie. <laughs> Hi, um, I just have one comment, really. Um, my name's Amy, I'm from England. Um, what I wanted to say, really, was that I think there is a, quite a lot of um, culture that's brought into France uh, from, from the immigrants that, that live there that isn't really recognized, because we talk about France as being very protectionist, and um, especially in comparison to the US. Um, but for example, in, in the outskirts of Paris, like, a lot of the immigrant communities have even come up with their, their own versions of, of French, so Verlan, um, where, yeah? So they, they swap the two sides yeah. of the words over and, and it's very create old. a new- Verlan is very old. The 70s, sorry. <laughs> but then even with the new oh, immigration, the you, have, yeah. you have like the Turkish immigrants and, and yeah. North, North African immigrants who are coming in, and then also changing their own words from their home countries in giving them a French accent and then turning them yeah, into right. very difficult for someone trying to learn French to figure out. But um, yeah, I just think it, that should be really sort of recognized yeah. because there is a lot of influence there. But I mean, Germany and France, even more than Germany, there are multicultural societies like England as well. And uh, today, when you look, for instance, at French music, Varieté Française, uh, we will find every sort of music from the Caribs, from the North Africa, from 
uh, yeah, from uh, Black Africa, and uh, I think um, it, it's of course a process over the years. But I think that it is well established already in, in French culture the influences of from from foreign countries. Whereas in in Germany, I think we are a bit ten or twenty years behind that. I mean, this is a some some personal idea, I think, because you had a different approach. You didn't have really colonies like in France or in England. So, uh, but it's it's very interesting subject. I mean, uh, when when for instance, when you look uh, last week, I, I got a call from from a group in Paris, a youth center. They wanted to organize a crump dance exchange. Crump for me, uh, I mean, I'm not very old, but I didn't know what it is, and it's a new style of dance coming over from. Uh, the States to France, and then it goes five years later, go over to Germany. So it's a, uh, I mean, this is this is just to say that it's always changing, it's always developing, and uh, I think uh, it's it's much different <coughs> than the culture for the young people today than for, for the uh, thirty or twenty years ago. Okay, hey, well, on that note, uh, I think we need to, to bring this to a conclusion, but we're really very grateful to have had you both here and to have had a chance to focus our attention for a while on France, uh, the tremendous experience that France has had with cultural diplomacy and the current practices and strategies of French cultural diplomacy. So if you could please join me in expressing our gratitude to Mr. Malina and Mr. Fangman. Merci beaucoup. Merci.